What's up, everybody? Mopped here, and welcome to the last week of Custard Month. Yeah, fifth week, last week of Custard Month. It has been really interesting month. Uh, very tasty, very good, delicious. You know, who doesn't love custards? Anyways, I've learned a lot. I hope you guys have too. So we have three more recipes to go over today, and then at the end of this video, um, I'll announce what I think is the best one out of the 15 recipes that I tried. You know, again, just my opinions. That's all these are. So take them with what you will, you know, but I hope you did learn something. I know I did. I know I have a way better understanding of kind of where to go with custards, what works, what doesn't work, kind of mistakes that I see other people, that I've seen other people making these recipes, you know, and you kind of know for yourself not to make those mistakes. So it's all a learning experience. That's the whole point of doing these. I hope you guys did learn a lot. So let's get to the recipes. Uh, we're going to do a little different today. So I'm going to go ahead and just screen share. So the first one up we have is Gentleman's Custard by Own Society. And this reads um, half a percent TFA acetylpyrazine, 1% TFA brown sugar, 3% favora butterscotch, 6% TFA RY4 double, and 4.5% propel vanilla custard B1. So yeah, so we obviously have this kind of tobacco-ish uh, caramel butterscotch type custard going on here. I've said it before, I'll say it again, probably um, RY4 double is not, you know, I'm just not a big fan of RY4. I'm, I'm just not. I'd rather just use a good, nice, bold tobacco than use an RY4, but they went with RY4 here. And that's not necessarily the problem, really, with the recipe, uh, especially if you're an RY4 fan, you'll like it. The problem I have with it is RY4 is already like more of a caramel it's also kind of a caramel flavor along with like somewhat of a tobacco. It's weird. To me, it reminds me of just like cheap caramel and like soggy tobacco. You know, it's, I don't know, it's weird. I, I don't see the thing with it, but I know a lot of people like it. Anyways, but so it definitely has like already caramel notes to it. So adding on top of that butterscotch and brown sugar, it just, it just overpowers it for me. Uh, I mean, if you're a really big fan of like super sweet and caramely recipes, uh, you'll probably like it but for me it's way overdone in that in that category yeah it just you just get a whole lot of caramel we like, get you know, almost to the point where it just kind of drowns out the custard and then you get that little weird like I said soggy tobacco note <laughs> kind of in the background um, so it doesn't do it for me you know I'm, I'm not a fan of this I would think it would have been better maybe with just maybe taking the butterscotch out or doing something else, adding some brighter creams in there to kind of, you know, bring the recipe up a little bit. Um, but that's kind of where I'm coming at for with this. So this one, I'm going to go ahead and give it two and a half out of five. Just not a fan of it. So moving on. <clears throat> so the next recipe we have is Ella's Comfort Custard by Ella, part of the VHM crew. And her recipe reads... 1% TFA brown sugar, 2% um, Cupcake World Devon Cream, 2% Capella Sugar Cookie, 12% Capella Vanilla Custard V1, and 1% Inawara Shisha Vanilla. I think this could be a really great recipe, but the vanilla custard juice is way too high. Um, way too high. You kind of taste everything else trying to come out, but it just, it's just drowned out so much by, by 12% vanilla custard. I think it was week two where we had that issue with a few recipes. And here again, it's just, to me, uh, it's just too high to use vanilla custard. Unless you were just trying to vape straight vanilla custard by itself, you know, you could do that. I've, you know, most of us have vape vanilla custard so much, you know, we don't really want to do that, but but here, 12% to me was way too high. Um, and everything else, you know, besides that, it looks like it could be a great recipe. Just bringing down that vanilla custard way down, you know, uh, being like, cause probably what I would have went with this is using the vanilla custard at like four or 5%. And then that Devon cream boosting that up maybe to like 4%. So maybe like a vanilla custard, 4%, Devon cream, 4%. And then everything else in there, uh, the sugar cookie would be a great addition. You know, I think that's a that's a really good choice. And especially with that sugar cookie, you're going to get some butter and stuff out of there too. 
and then dab and cream, we're gonna get some more cream out of it. So you, you don't really need to rely on the vanilla custard quite so much as I see in this recipe. So, um, so for me, I'm gonna give this one a three out of five. Yeah, that's just kind of where I'm coming at with this one. So again, I'm just not a huge fan of it. All right. And the last recipe is, um, this one's by Wayne Walker from DIY or Die. This is his custard, I believe he's calling it my custard. But anyways, it's Wayne's custard. It reads 8% Capella vanilla custard, 1% TFA sweet cream, 2% flavor West yellow cake, 1.75% inaware shisha vanilla, 0.75% for more popcorn, and half a percent Capella super sweet. Yeah, this one, um, not quite feeling it either, honestly. There's a, there's no recipe of the week this week because just all three of the recipes I, I really wasn't too impressed with. Um, with this one, I still feel, yeah, vanilla custard, even 8%, you know, that's, that's it's still kind of, it's just too prominent. It just still kind of drowns everything else out. Um, you know, when you push it that high and then you're trying to put these like little delicate notes, like one, 2% here and there, it, it just you don't really get it you know like you might get it a little bit or it's trying to push through but those little you pretty much lose those delicate notes with the really eggy richy you know rich buttery custard the popcorn element yeah so this is basically like kind of like a corn uh custard kind of reminds me of cream corn and i hated cream corn when i was a kid so i'm not really feeling the popcorn in there and yeah that's pretty much where i'm at with it so this one, um, I'm going to give it three out of five, you know, kind of a soft three, you know. Um, so, yeah, so honestly, I wasn't too impressed with everything. It, it happens, you know. Um, but our recipe of the week. So what are we going to do for recipe of the week? So recipe of the week, I am going to give to, wait a second, no, let me see something. So recipe of the month, I'm getting, well, yeah, recipe of the month, best custard out of these 15, I'm giving to Creed's Custard by Creed, aka Kevin Reed, also from the BHM crew. It's just good, man. It's just awesome. It just holds up. Um, it's simple. You know, it's, everything's just well balanced in there. And it's just, it's just a really good straight custard. And that's why I really wanted out of this month. I just like, just wanted a good straight custard. And to see kind of what it takes to really like just come out with just a custard that just can pretty much kind of blow you away. And that's how this custard is, man. You, it's a steeper, you let it steep for a couple months and it's just amazing. It's really good. It's got a lot of really great elements to it. Uh, yeah, it uses Capella vanilla custard, but there's enough else going on in there that, you know, it, it takes it away enough from just being Capella vanilla custard and really comes to kind of being its own thing. You know, it's Creed's custard. Like, it has its own flavor to it. It's just very well worked. Nothing's like, nothing's too light, nothing's too heavy. And yeah, it's only four flavors, but it's really, it it's awesome. Um, so congratulations, Creed. There's no prize, I'm a cheap ass. So, you know, some kudos, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, so I suggest, these are all really good flavorings to have too. So I suggest you pick them up and mix this up. Um, I believe he also has a one shot over on chef's flavors of it that you can pick up, you know. So anyways, all right, stop sharing that. All right, so that's it. Um, thank you guys so much for for all the positive feedback and watching all these videos and everything. You know, you guys just sit there week after week watching watching my videos and I do appreciate it. Um, if you have any other ideas for kind of like the month log and things like this, like there's a profile that you really enjoy or there's a profile we struggle with or just anything like this. I mean, we learn a lot going through all 15 recipes, you know, just all like similar profile. You learn a lot from it and there's always something you're going to take away from it. So if there's something you struggle with. If there's just something you want more clarification on, or you just, just something you would just, you think is entertaining, you know, to do for this, um, go ahead and put it down in the comments and I will definitely put it into consideration. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Till next time, eat, sleep, mix, repeat. Be good to each other. Talk to y'all later.